Here's a sixth grade social studies question that a lot of adults seem to have a hard time grasping. Okay? Follow me here for a minute, folks. What happens when you, as an individual, can't track your finances? Process this for a minute. What happens when your business misreports its income because it can't track expenses or revenue? Well, the answer to that's pretty obvious. You might bounce a check, or even more likely and problematic, the IRS might come knocking at your door. Okay, so that's what happens when you do it, but what happens if the federal government does it? Well, unfortunately, there are three words that I can give you to respond to that question, and those words are no big deal. You see, here in the United States, the feds don't just have a spending problem, they have a tracking problem. In short, the government doesn't really know how much they're actually spending. They have no idea, and they don't want to know. According to a new report from the Senate, over half of the data that we get from USSpending.gov, that's the website that reports on spending from all the federal agencies, well, apparently it's either inaccurate, incomplete, or just downright dishonest. There's a group in Washington called the Senate Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations of the Senate Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee. It just rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? Anyway, they analyzed spending data for the fiscal year 2017 for 25 federal agencies, which represent roughly 77% of all federal spending for that fiscal year. And the results were rather sobering, which is an ironic statement to make because what I'm about to tell you might make you want to drink. This report from the Senate says at least 55% of the spending data submitted to USSpending.gov, submissions representing roughly $240 billion out of $779 billion was all just blatantly wrong. Either they didn't have all the information, they had information that was inaccurate, a combination of the two, and it's also likely that some of this misreporting was intentional. And inaccurate spending data is basically useless. It frustrates the purpose of the Data Act, a user-friendly search engine detailing government-wide spending. For whatever it's worth, the Data Act stands for Digital Accountability and Transparency Act of 2014, which is kind of a stupid name for it. Technically, that should be called the DAT Act, because if it's the Digital Accountability and Transparency Act of 2014, then calling it Data Act would be kind of like calling it the Digital Accountability and Transparency Act Act. Anyway, the point of this whole thing is that it requires agencies to disclose expenditures and link information on those expenditures to federal program activities. The Data Act, or DAT Act, if you know how your brain works, required the Office of Management and Budget and the Treasury Department to establish government-wide financial data standards that would specify, define, and describe the data to be submitted to increase the consistency and comparability of information from the various agencies. I know that's a mouthful, but what this basically amounts to is that both agencies were required to increase the quantity, quality, and transparency of spending data available to agencies, Congress, and the public by establishing standards to enable the reporting and tracking of government-wide spending at multiple points in the spending life cycle and publish the data at usspending.gov. And if that's still too much information for you to handle at once, just think about it this way. The Data Act was supposed to require people in the government to be really honest about how much we're spending. And that's not happening. Back in 2017, the US government reports to have spent $3.98 trillion. Good Lord, that's a lot of money. Except the thing is, maybe they didn't really spend that much. And perhaps the information is about $240 billion off. Okay, fine. So somebody in the federal government isn't being exactly honest here. But the federal government is big, 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 big. So which departments are the worst? Well, let's start with this. Social Security. It's basically a pyramid scheme. The Social Security Administration posted that they spent $248,077,220,903. But 36.9% of that report is wrong. Uh... To put it another way, something happened in 91.5 billion dollars. It may have been spent properly or not. The Treasury Department, which is basically a bunch of lizard people who are really smart geniuses that are supposed to be good at math, well, they're one of the agencies responsible for reporting on the information at usspending.gov, and it turns out those really smart geniuses have a 96.2% error rate on their reporting. Seriously? And isn't that interesting? Because the Treasury Department, which runs the IRS, makes mistakes in its spending report 96.2% of the time. Imagine if you did that. But here's the thing. 
The IRS is even worse than its parent organization. They have a 97% reporting error rate. But that shouldn't bother anybody, right? Because all they do is handle your money. And it's not like this agency is the one charged for collecting taxes and pursuing those people who don't properly report their incomes or anything. Gosh, wait a second. Actually, that's exactly what they do. <laughs> and we thought that IRS Tea Party scandal from 2013 was bad. This is much worse. And it turns out, two federal agencies didn't even report on their spending. Housing and urban development didn't bother describing where all their money goes. Agriculture actually didn't have the program in place in 2017 and should be reporting for the fiscal year 2018, but you know how slow the government moves. Glacier speed. We'll see what happens there. By the way, guess which two federal agencies misreport 100% of the time? Well, it turns out the answer is energy and defense. They screw up their accounting every time, all the time. It's one thing you can count on, which is frustrating, but at least we don't have to wonder anymore how those people ended up spending $10,000 on a toilet seat. Washington doesn't have a revenue problem. They have a spending problem. And one of the ways to help the average citizen keep track of our money is inaccurate and incomplete. Remember, the federal government will continue to spend other people's money as long as no one knows how much that amount actually is. And the federal government is probably doing its best to make sure we never, ever, ever find out. Now I can appreciate the fact that I just threw a lot of information at you and some of this might be a lot for you to absorb. So if you take away one thing from watching this video today, let it be this. If you handled your books and your finances the same way that the government does, you would be in jail right now. <laughs>